all right dear students the topic that we have today is bad debts the newer name for which is irrecoverable debts now what is irrecoverable debts whenever we sell goods to our customers on credit this means we have sold the goods now customers have taken the goods now but they have promised us that they will pay us this amount in some later date okay so it's a credit sale and whenever our customers that is debtors also known as trade receivables promise to pay us in the future date but due to some reason they are unable to pay us the amount due and the customers maybe uh, ran away or maybe they are present there but they are uh, making an excuse that they cannot pay you the amount that they actually owe or maybe they are giving lesser amount that out of $1,000 that they owe, they are only going to pay 500 now. So the remaining amount is irrecoverable. Okay, irrecoverable debt, also known as bad debt, is basically an expense for the business. So let me uh, write some short definition for you. Bad debt, also known as irrecoverable debt, is occurred when a trade receivable, a customer, credit customer, fail to pay full or partial amount on the debt owed. Okay. Now let us understand the journal entries for that. Journal entries are basically the double entry for bad debt. Now the first entry that we are going to make, bad debt account would be debited. Now it's better to write irrecoverable debt now instead of bad debts. Okay. So the bad debt is being debited. Now, why is bad debt being debited? Because bad debt is an expense for the business. Okay. So the nature for expense is always debit. We have studied this in uh, previous lessons. So the bad debt is going to be debited and the customer's account would be credited. So if we know the name of the customer, we are going to write the name of the customer, Mr. X or whoever he is. Uh, and then uh, if we do not uh, know the name of the customer or the examiner doesn't tell you the name of the customer, then we are going to credit trade receivable. Okay. So the first entry we are going to make whenever our customer turns bad. So the entry would be bad or irrecoverable debt account would be debited. Why? Because an expense is always debited when increased and customer is also an asset. But if the customer fails to pay us, then customer's account would be credited means we are closing down the customer's account. Okay. So now this entry would be uh, made whenever uh, each customer turns bad. Now what happens at the end of the year? At the end of the year, uh, all of the bad debt account, bad debt account basically contains all of our debts that were turned bad in any particular year. Now at the end of the year, uh, the bad debt account which has a debit balance needs to be credited okay so the bad debt account would be credited and what we need to do we need to transfer this total bad debt account into an income statement why because incomes it is a loss for the business okay so at the end of the year all of the expense accounts would be closed and they are going to transfer these to an income statement okay if the income statement is being debited, this means it is an expense or a loss. And if instead the income statement was being credited, therefore it was a gain or income. Okay, gain or income. Now let us make a bad debt account and let us see how we can prepare a bad debt account. Okay, now for example, on 5th of March, one of our customers whose name was Ali turned bad. So the entry that we uh, would have made on 5th March, the entry would be bad debt account would be debited and Ali's account would be credited. Then on maybe 10th of December, another customer whose name was Ahmed, who, he also failed to pay us the money and this customer would also be transferred to a bad debt account. Okay, so the entry would be bad debt account would be debited and Ahmed's account would be credited. Now what happens at the end of the year, there were this year, there were two customers who failed to pay us. Now we need to add up both of these and the total amount of bad debt was 1800. Now what we need to do, we need to transfer this bad debt account balance to where? To income statement. Okay. 
so the entire bad debt debit balance of 1800 would need to be created at the end of the year and we need to transfer this to which account to an income statement okay so similar would be repeated in the second year uh, what happens for example in the second year that is 2021 one of the customers whose name was Aves he also turned bad and it was $950 that he owed to us okay so the entry would be bad debt account would be debited and Aves account would be credited now if there is only one customer that turned bad in this year that is 2021 again we need to close this bad debt account and need to transfer it to an income statement now if you can see one thing here that in a bad debt account we are not writing balance bd or balance cd okay balance brought down and balance carried down uh, in a bad debt account there is never balance carried down or brought down what happens at the end of the year all of the bad debt account uh, total would needs to be transferred where to income statement okay so we cannot uh, we would not carry it forward this account instead just need to be transferred where an income statement all right my dear students we are going to understand the underlying concepts regarding bad debt and also known as irrecoverable debt now let me read the question for you ard limited has the following balances in its books now as you can see there are three years 2014 15 and 16 trade receivables are basically our customers whom we have sold the goods on credit and now they owe us this amount okay this is the total of all the customers in 2014 then 15 then 16 bad debt also known as irrecoverable debts were written off during the year and bad debt needs to be written off now either the bad debts were already written off by the examiner himself or what we need to do we need to make the entries for this bad debt now whenever we are studying irrecoverable debts we do not need to keep uh, make the difference between the two types of debts that were already written off and that needs to be written off so for both of these we need to make entries either the examiner has made the entries him himself or either we are going to make the entries it's the same thing okay what we need to do in this exercise we need to prepare we need to make general entries now what are general entries general entries are basically double entries this is a format date particulars debit and credit now as you remember from your earlier studies we studied uh, aed mnemonic and it meant asset expense and drawing and these are always debit in nature and then we studied lic in double entry liability income and capital and these are always credit in nature okay so an asset expense or drawing whenever is increased it, it is we are going to debit its account and whenever a liability capital and uh, income increases we are going to credit it now in this question as you can see in the first year in the first year uh, it's 2014 in 2014 uh, there are two bad debts basically one is mr a in 2014 i am talking about the 14 first year first year we have mr a that turned bad that is 5000 and in the second year we have another bad debt and that is mr d okay so first of all we need to make general entries for this now as you may be aware that bad debt irrecoverable debt is an expense so we need to make an entry irrecoverable debt account would be debited why is being debited because asset oh sorry uh, an expense whenever an expense increases we are going to debit this expense okay so the irrecoverable debt account would be debited and the customer who failed to pay us the account of that particular customer that is mr a needs to be credited okay so the entry would be irrecoverable debt account would be debited and the customers mr a's account would be credited now secondly as you can see in 2014 there are more than one customers who failed to pay us secondly in 2014 column there is another customer with the name of mr d so the entry that we need to make is irrecoverable debt would be debited again and this time mr d's account would be credited now mr a and mr d are our customers and the nature for customer is an asset and it is debit in nature but what happens if the customer is uh, no longer we believe that he or she no longer we going to pay us so therefore we need to credit this customer's account in order to close it okay 
Now, uh, in 2014, now as you can see, there are two customers who failed to pay us. One is Mr. A and one, one is Mr. B. Now, we debited a recoverable debt account twice in this year. One uh, because of Mr. A and secondly because of Mr. D. Now, a recoverable debt was debited both of the times. Now, what happens at the end of the year, we are going to credit this a recoverable debt account with the total that is 5000 plus 4100. It would be a 9100. Okay. Now, the a recoverable debt was an expense and expense is usually a debit. But what happens at the end of the year, we are going to credit this expense account and we need to transfer the entire amount to where an income statement. Now, what is an income statement? We studied income statement previously. At the end of the year, we need to prepare an income statement uh, to uh, learn to see that how much profit or loss the business has incurred. Okay. So, this entire irrecoverable debt account would be credited and we need to transfer it to where an income statement. Now, the same entries would be repeated for other years that is 2015. Now, as you can see in 2015, there was only one customer uh, who failed to pay us and that was Mr. B. Okay. So, the entry that we are going to make, first entry would be irrecoverable debt would be debited. Why? Because an expense is debit in nature and the name of the customer that is Mr. B, Mr. B's account would be credited. Now, what happens at the end of the year again, as you can see in 2015, there is only one customer who turned bad. Now, what happens at the end of the year, we need to credit this account. Why? Uh, as you can see, it's a debit in nature, a recoverable debt. It's an expense. At the end of the year, all of the expenses are being closed and we need to credit this and we need to transfer it where we need to transfer it in an income statement. Okay. So this first entry, a recoverable debt debit and customer uh, credit, th this can be made multiple times depending on how many customers uh, turn bad in a particular year. But in an income statement entry would be made only once and when at the end of the year. Okay. So for each year, we need to make single entry, one entry for an income statement. Now let's move to the third year that is 2016. In 2016, as we can see in the question, there are two customers who turn bad. One is Mr. C for 2500 and lastly we have Mr. E that is 3200. Now the first entry that we need to make is irrecoverable debt would be debited and Mr. C's account would be closed and would be created. Then uh, this would be repeated for Mr. E. So the irrecoverable debt expense would be debited again and Mr. E needs to be credited. Now what happens again at the end of the year as you can see there are two customers who turned bad in the last year. Uh, so we need debited the irrecoverable debt account twice. Now at the end of the year again we need to credit this irrecoverable debt account to close it and we need to transfer this expense to where an income statement. Okay. So these were basically journal entries. Now the question also mentions we need to make a ledger account. Now what is the ledger account my dear students? Ledger account is basically a T account. We need to make an irrecoverable debt account. Now one thing that you need to take uh, uh, note of is that uh, an irrecoverable debt account never has a balance brought down or a balance carried down. Okay. Irrecoverable debt account does not have a balance BD or balance CD. Why? Because at the end of the year, all of the irrecoverable debt balance needs to be transferred to where an income statement. Just give me a Okay, now let us make a T account for this. Now, as you can see the first entry, in first entry, we debited a recoverable debt account. Now, as you may be re uh, remember from your earlier studies that a T account, the left hand side is a debit and the right hand side is credit. Now, what we need to do, we need to debit the recoverable debt account by 5000 and we need to uh, write the reference of the credit entry that is Mr. A. So, the entry that we made was a recoverable debt was being debited and Mr. A's account would be credited. Now here we do not need to open a Mr. A account. Why? Because the examiner has not specifically asked to make a T account for customer. Okay. We just need to make one account and that is a recoverable debt. Now as you can see, uh, there is another customer who turned bad in 2014 that was Mr. D. So we need to debit the irrecoverable debt account and Mr. D account would be credited. Now at the end of the year, now as you can see my dear student, there were two customers who turned bad and we need to add up both of these that is 9100. At the end of the year, we need to transfer the entire amount where 
we need to transfer it to an income statement now we studied right now uh, just now that there is no balance bd or balance cd in an irrecoverable debt account and what we need to do we need to transfer the entire amount to where an income statement now similar would be repeated for the next year that is 2015 now as you can see in 2015 there was only one customer who turned back and the amount was 3500 so the entry that we made was a recoverable debt would be debited with reference to mr a now the rules for t account is that uh, whenever we are debiting a t account we cross reference uh, we write cross reference of the account that was actually being credited okay so whenever we credit an account we write the reference cross reference of the account that was being debited now as you can see in 2015 there was only one customer who turned bad again we need to transfer this to where an income statement so this would also be transferred to where income statement now as you can see an income statement entry would be made only once and when at the end of the year okay we need to make the income statement entry at the end of the year now in 2016 last year there were two customers who turned bad so the entry would be a recoverable debt would be debited and mr c account would be credited now the examiner usually doesn't ask for both of these uh, requirements for general entries and a t account as well okay you, you need to make one thing whatever the examiner asks for sometimes the examiner asks you to make general entries and some other time examiner can ask you to make a t account okay so you must learn uh, how to make both of these now uh, thirdly we have uh, lastly we have mr e so again we need to add up both of these for every year we need to total this and we need to transfer it to where an income statement so this is basically how we make an irrecoverable debt account. We never write balance brought down or balance carried down. Instead, at the end of the year, entire amount would need to be transferred to where? An income statement. Okay, so we are practicing bad debts. That is irrecoverable debt. Now, let us see a few of the examination questions. Now, as you can see in question number two, we have Mr. It's not Mr. Basically, it's Sophia. Okay, uh, Miss Sophia provides the following information about her trade receivables. Now, what we need to do, there is only one requirement in it. We need to prepare general journal to record the entries for weight design on 28 February. A narrative is not required. Now, the narrative examiner is saying that you do not need to make a narrative, but we'll be learning how to make a narrative as well okay so we need to make general entries uh, date particulars and debit and credit so this is a format for general entry now let me read the uh, scenario for you on 28 february that is end of the year weight design which owed sophia now we are sophia in this question and weight design who owed us this means weight design is one of our customers okay so this company whoever uh, they are they owe us 5100 dollars and he was declared they were declared bankrupt okay this means they were out of the business and they are unable to pay us the entire amount that is 5100 okay but a check for 1800 was received now instead of uh making all of the debt bad they tried at least and they gave us 1800 dollar uh, although it's not sufficient but at least something is better than nothing we receive 1800 from them the balance of the debt was irrecoverable okay so the difference between the two amounts uh, would would never be received okay so what we need to do we need to make a general entry now uh, first of all we need to debit the bank why because bank is an asset whenever the money coming into the business we need to debit the bank account and then we need to make a debit to another account that is irrecoverable why because the difference uh, of the total amount that they owe us and the amount they actually paid us is basically a bad debt is basically an irrecoverable debt okay so the difference between the two is 3300 we need to debit this 3300 as well and what we need to do we need to credit this customer's account and the name of the customer is weight design obviously it's not a person's name it is a business name okay so now as you can see uh, such type of entries are known as compound entries compound entry is any general entry in which there is one debit and more than one credit or maybe one credit and more than one debits 
Now it doesn't make uh, any difference uh, if there are more than one debits or credits. The thing that is important that the sum of the debits and credits should always be equal. Now as you can see the debit and credit side are both equal. Okay, so this was basically a general entry. The examiner here uh, mentioned that narrative is not required, but sometimes the examiner says a narrative is required. So what happens if the examiner says the narrative is required? Narrative is basically the explanation of the entry that we just made. So uh, what happens if we see our uh, books, this general journal after one month, what happens if we forget that why actually we made this entry in the first place then just to remember us we can uh, uh, go through this uh, narrative we can read this narrative okay so we can start with to record okay to record partial receipt partial receipt means uh, sophia hasn't paid us the entire amount she has just paid sorry we are sophia weight design hasn't paid us the haven't paid us the entire amount they have just paid partial amount okay partial receipt and what we did we written off a write off remaining balance okay so the remaining the balance was written off okay let us do uh, do some other exercises as well uh, now question number three is quite similar on 15th of april omar was advised that honor a credit customer who owed 1250 okay we are omar and the customer is honor and uh, customer was actually owing us 1250 and he was bankrupt this means he was out of business we are Omar we received a check for 500 in final settlement now instead of paying us the entire amount that was due 1250 he was only uh, he managed to pay us 500 okay the balance was written off and we are not expecting this amount anytime now okay so this was bad debt uh, we need to make the general entry made by Omar. We are Omar to record the bankruptcy of Honor. A narrative is required. Now, again, we need to make a compound entry in this. Okay. So, the amount that we have actually received, we are going to debit the bank. And what happens? The examiner doesn't mention that we have received the money through cash or by check. We will always be writing bank unless uh, the examiner specifically mentions that we have received money through cash. Okay. So businesses by default deal in uh, through check through bank rather than cash. Okay. Just to be safe. So the difference between the amount that he owed us and the difference uh, and the amount that he actually paid us was irrecoverable. Okay. So the total amount of debt was 1250 and they gave us 500 only so the difference was 750 this would be transferred in an irrecoverable debt account and the entire amount would be credited from customers account that is honor now as you can see uh, 500 was actually paid this uh, should be credited and the 750 would never be paid this also should be credited now instead of making two separate entries bank debit and honor credit by 500 then again irrecoverable debt debit and honor credit by 750 we can make this compound entry okay so in this question the examiner also asked for narrative so we can write the narrative narrative can be started with to record first and what are we recording we are recording receipt again uh, honor hasn't paid uh, as the entire amount so this is a partial receipt and again we are writing off the remaining balance as bad debt okay so this was basically the question now let us do some further exercises just to reinforce what we studied now let us see question number four in a question number four uh, just let me read the question for you zodwa is a trader she maintains full set of accounting records her financial year is ending on 31st of july she provides the following information uh, just uh, let me first read the requirement for you we need to make some t accounts ledger accounts we need to make brian account and who is brian brian may be our customer okay in this question brian is a customer because the balance bd is coming on the debit side customers balance brought down always comes on the debit side we need to prepare a bad debt account as well okay we need to make two accounts one for customer brian and one for bad debt okay now let me read the entry for you no entry has been made for 720 cash received from brian a credit customer okay so basically brian is a credit customer and he has uh, paid us 720 but we have not yet recorded this entry and the balance uh, was irrecoverable again and should be written off 
so first of all we need to make t account for brian so the entry that would be made with us uh, would be cash would be debited why because brian has paid cash okay so the cash account would be debited and a brian account would be credited okay so in this question we are not required to make a cash account instead we are just going to make a customer's account we need to credit the customer and we need to write the reference as cash okay cross reference it with cash now as you can see the balance brought down was 1000 means brian owed us 1000 and out of that he only managed to pay us 720 now what happens with the remaining uh, 280 this remaining 280 would never be received because the examiner mentions that and the balance is irrecoverable now the entry would be irrecoverable debt would be debited and brand's account would be credited okay the difference between the two obviously so this would be closed okay so if instead the examiner doesn't mention this line that it would not be uh, recoverable so therefore uh, then we can write this 280 as a balance cd balance cd would be a balance carried out if we still expect brian to pay us and he has not mentioned that he won't be able to pay us so then we will be writing balance cd 280 and this balance cd would becomes a balance bd at the start of next month okay so this irrecoverable debt entry would also need to be made in a bad debt account okay so the entry that we are going to make for 280 here is a recoverable debt account a bad debt account would be debited and the brand account would be credited now we have just created the brand account now we need to debit this bad debt account now as you can see a bad debt balance is already given uh, although it's not a balance brought down uh, we uh, never write a balance brought down here okay in this year there were some other customers uh, that were bad okay in this year total 990 uh, uh, customers uh, worth 990 failed to pay us okay and one another customer with the name of Brian he also failed to pay us uh, $280 now what happens we need to add up both of these okay at the end of the year so the total amount of irrecoverable debt this year is 1270 now as we mentioned earlier we, uh, we would never be writing balance carried down in a bad debt account instead this total amount would be transferred to where it would be transferred to an income statement okay so the bad debt account which is usually debit in nature why because it's an expense we need to credit this and we need to transfer it where we need to transfer it to an income statement so this is basically uh, the entry this is how we make a t account for bad debt now there are some theoretical requirements as well in this topic and the examiner is asking suggest two ways in which zodwa could reduce the amount of bad debt it's self-explanatory if we do not want our customers to turn bad what steps we can take what measures we can take in order to avoid or to minimize the amount of bad debt there can be many points first of all reduce credit sale now we are aware that whenever we sell on credit there is a risk that the customer would not pay okay so instead of selling on credit we can sell on cash or we can reduce the credit sales okay and focus more on cash sale so this is one way to reduce the amount of debt. what else we can do uh, what if uh, we can not sell on cash and most of our customers prefer on credit what should we do we can obtain reference from new credit customers okay so as long as uh, as soon as a customer showed up to our uh, outlet and he uh, or she wants credit okay so first of all we are going to ask them about references that who sent you okay how do you know us are there any common uh, person who knows uh, them uh, as well as us okay so we can take reference from them or maybe from the banks or maybe from some other dealers that how is uh, uh, that customer okay how is their paying habits okay then what else we can write we need to write two points we need to fix the credit limit for each customer okay so this means whenever there is a new customer we can start off with lower limit and as soon as the customer uh, behaves properly or be, uh, by behavior means uh, their paying habits are good they do not uh, uh, 
miss commit in payments okay if they are paying on time we can gradually improve their credit limit okay this is exactly the same what the banks do with us whenever we uh, take credit cards so the bank initially gave us very small limit so uh, as soon as we start paying them and uh, if the trust relationship is built then the bank can extend the credit further then the limit can be increased by the bank okay improve credit control means this means uh, uh, we have to take some steps in order to uh, collect money further or maybe earlier from customers issue invoices and monthly statements on time promptly means quickly okay sometimes the customer is not paying why because uh, they don't know how much to pay okay so we uh, we can pay our play our part we can send them statement and invoices on time so that they do not have any excuse that how can we pay we do not know how much to pay okay we were not informed about it so in order to avoid all of these things we can uh, try to give them a, a data on time refuse for the supply this is uh, one of the measures that we can take if the customer has not paid us the previous amount we do not give them further credit we do not extend them further credit okay